Drowners. You could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah. You can go. If you're able. Ha. What are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. So long. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt. What's your preference? Coin or cards? I never managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Rather have the coin. It's yours. I'll still pay the King of Beggars on time. Won't that cocksucker be surprised? Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Ponta. Water on the brain!
get a bonus for working in piss poor weather. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Huh. <laughs> this can actually work. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here. Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Then bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the... Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Go on, Candyline! On guard! I mean, Crimson Avenger! Uh, uh, you're better than I thought! Uh, help! Uh. I mean, Crimson Avenger! The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit! Or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! All of them. Oh, terrible times. Oh, God, a reaper's come for me.
Did you mistake vinegar like for me? Ah. Boars. Boars everywhere. Strength's gone. No loitering round here. What are you doing? Not enough time already. Nee. Just hopped out for a smoke. He's still hacking. Seems they can't decide on a colour now. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now. Or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. He promised to let us know his choice soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt, you've known him longer. Say something. Sure, I've known him longer, but he's never so much as changed his socks for me. Never mind commissioning a full-blown renovation. He's doing this for you, clearly. You should decide. I associate boudoirs with a feminine elegance that also has an edge. Claws, you might say. That fits a cabaret perfectly. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well... He said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Looking for... something unusual? Miss a woman's touch. Wanna dip your dingle? 
<laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. <sighs> Come closer, don't be shy. You'll find I've everything you could ever need. Polly! Everything all right? Go on, Madonna, so. Open up! I thought you was just talking. Go on, What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary in Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. One drink all Damn I it. Now where would she leave? Not here. Find anything? I'm doing all I had. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it, and leave the woman alone. What the... She's my betrothed! But I'm not your property! I love her! I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel! Whoa! Slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right, talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? 
and fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlix. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Towards brigands like stealing our work, one of Tamarians. Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halfling's in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Let's dance. Yeah! Regret this mutant. Your nerve.
me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy? Could have said so right away. Come on.
behind the guards. You think them a pair of old lovers? Synergy reigns between them. Back again, minion trap. We shall lose our shares in the Maritime Company. Sons of the times, my good fellow. Sons of the times, my good fellow. I am not a race. You very ill between Jockey and Steed. You'd think them a pair of old lovers. Synergy reigns between them. What do you say that racing man of yours? No. He's still aiming to get ten I pieces of the best out well, to the fifth. But when we actually no. trade no. from the Empire, no. we shall lose our shoes in the Maritime. You still aim to get ten pieces of the best out of the fifth. Like the little fight of blue. I'm not sure I understand. Well, Rocky, what about the Seems you're Captain a considerable sum in the red. But you shan't back out of that cat. Come now, old son. We can't allow that. Who'd I wager with then, eh? Listen. Threaten one nobly born with a whip for refusing to bow before it chose so that we know. Deadly to the Temple Guards have no doubt it's a man with You'll see. Renovid will move Redania's capital to Novigrad. Every time I hear something, I cannot help thinking it could very well be time for a change of scene. We shall talk about this later, all right? Deepest what apologies. Deepest Hold apologies. On. Capital of the world. And you feel the fool's past, we have you. Not from round here, are you? I don't have the strength for anything. What? Would a witch come You Rodlick? Henri Rodlick? Artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. But tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm to wager on a race. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider? Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer.
Slow now. I'm as good as dead. Time to flee to safer climes. Kavir, perhaps? Come on. There's got to be something we can do. Alas, I'm afraid all is lost. I had my chance and I squandered it. I fear Kavir is my last resort. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Some she ran off with an elf The spy. Such are the times, my good fellow. Know what she drinks in the evening before she retires. Not blood from a sorcerer's scowl. That is a sorcerer's blood, of course. My man carries his pitchfork like you. That's it, Roach. Faster. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Move it. Stay out. Slow of now. Way. Whoa. Come on, Roach. So the plum and your eye, who gave you that? Retainia soon. There must be order. as much as life. Lord for work, Lord to eight. Well, do people soup for luncheon today. Is this necessary? <laughs> On the road all day and now... Sick. Sick of it. White. What? Do you know who I am? I'm Jean Baptiste <coughs> the third. Yes, of those Baptistes. And all are equal. Ain't that the, the kingfisher? You're sorted for at least two. Slow days. now. Whoa. You just gotta adjust the good position where they toss the lift over us. My, what a 
freak. No loitering round here. How are things, Dudu? So-so, I suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said, wonderful. But I can't complain. I'm in one piece. Not bound to a steak atop a pyre. Dudu, tell me. The halfling Bibervelt goes from being a prosperous merchant to being a pauper. How? Prefer the long version or the short? Short, please. The war. I was under the impression merchants grow fat on wars. Some do, but I have a serious personality flaw. I'm honest. I could not reap profits from the suffering of others. I paid taxes. I never cooked my books. And then a ship full of my goods sank. I pulled through somehow, but then a second fell prey to skeleton raiders, rendering me insolvent. When inflation hit and interest rates rose, I, at long last, fell. Gotta admit, your manga, it's a brilliant impersonation. Don't remind me. I'm rather disgusting. Come on, he wasn't all out terrible. You understand nothing. A Doppler assumes more than a man's external appearance. I've learned what a scoundrel had knocking about in his head. Once I became him, not an hour passed before I felt the urge to break a sorceress's fingers. After two, I caught myself lusting to impale someone, and immediately after that, it hit me. The paranoid fear of a Doppler conspiracy. Ever considered leaving? Forgetting Novigrad altogether? What for? To pass from the frying pan into the fire? The war's not yet crept here. Famine's not kicked at our door. Not that the future's looking rosy. But you don't have to be human. Maybe you could try something else. I've assumed many forms over the years, and in spite of all, life as a human has proven most interesting. After all, you humans rule the world. Take care of yourself, Dudu. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No, no, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. Don't you like it? But I thought a boudoir would be right in line with your tastes. Oh, you chose it. Well, I'm not saying it's bad, just different. Not exactly what I'd envisaged. You know, now that I think about it, you're absolutely right. A boudoir is the perfect setting for a cabaret. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great, the best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Tamerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. 
guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... She say anything about me? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this fight was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time, you know. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly hurt. Uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course. Let's go.